was he was doing down the stretch in the second half of the line of that was sort of tracking your fire? I, th I think more than anything, it was what they were doing on the offensive end. Um, you know, they were scoring in, in their transition offense, even off of a make basket. Um, you know, so they were able to get those um, easy points, a couple and ones, and boy, they got their fans behind them, and it really changed the momentum of the game. And they just, um, just they just picked up the, you know, they just didn't look back after they were able to get some easy buckets in um, in transition offense. Yeah. Steve Halster, Midco Sports. Uh, Coach, at the end of the game, you got your team together very quickly after that handshake line. Would you mind sharing with us anything about what you were teaching your kids at that point? You know, I, more than anything, I was just telling them just how proud I was of them. Um, I loved seeing their emotion because I knew they put everything out there on that court. Um, just the, the, the feeling that they had, I wanted them just to soak it all in. Soak every moment of that in. And, um, and, and, and also to let them know that that they were still going to walk away with the trophy. We were going to take some hardware back to the University of Denver for, for them to be very proud of that. It was hard, you know, they fought hard to make that happen. And, and um, you know, they, I really feel that they, um, they stole the hearts of a lot of people, you know, I think. Um, and so I just wanted them to just know how special that was and, and not to forget that. Even though that they fell short on, on the scoreboard, and they didn't fall short with what, what they left out there on that court with their hearts. Terry Dunn, back to Davis here. Um, Coach, uh, it, it's been a while in this league since two women led their teams into the championship. Um, is that just trivia to you, or does that mean something? It's, it's, it's been kind of been a lot of male hires in this league the last decade right. or so. Um, you know, I tell you what, Amy, she's an incredible coach. Um, I think she and I are similar in that, boy, I think we worked that sideline and worked those officials and um, coach with a lot of passion and, and fun. And, um, you know, and I think both teams feed off that and enjoy it. So, um, you know, it's just, I think it's awesome that it was, you know, two females, uh, you know, to, to play in the finals. But, you know, there's some phenomenal coaches in this league, male or female. Um, but just, um, you know, just uh, hats off to Amy. Just um, really just got her team prepared late in this conference season. And uh, like I said, I told the staff before we entered the, entered the tournament that South Dakota would be the team to beat. I just didn't know we'd be the one to be trying to beat them, so.